New clues may explain why two men attacked a Texas exhibit featuring cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad. A man who left Minnesota to join jihadi fighters in Somalia is linked this morning to one of those gunmen. Mujahid Miski communicated on Twitter with Elton Simpson. Watchdog groups that track online terror threats describe Miski as an important recruiter for ISIS. U.S. investigators are still checking out ISIS's claim of responsibility for Sunday's attack in Garland, Texas. Jeff Pegues is in Washington where officials confirm they were tracking Simpson before the shootings. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. In the last month, something sparked law enforcement's interest in Elton Simpson. It's not clear exactly what that was, but the Arizona man had multiple social media accounts and tweeted out hints of the attack before it was set in motion. Investigators are trying to determine if Elton Simpson and Nadir Sufi received specific directions from ISIS or whether they were simply inspired by the terrorist organization to carry out attacks in the U.S. One anti-terror watch group says the evidence is online in Twitter exchanges between Simpson and a man named Mujahid Miski, whose real name is Mohammed Abdullahi Hassan. David Ibsen is the counter-extremism project's executive director. He, does, yes. he propagandizes, he incites, he recruits via social media, particularly uh, in his case, Twitter. Just last month, Miski tweeted, the brothers from the Charlie Hebdo attack did their part. It's time for brothers in the U.S. to do their part. Simpson tweeted back, when will they ever learn? They are planning on selecting the best picture drawn of Rasul Allah in Texas. Rasul Allah is a reference to the prophet Muhammad. I'd characterize that uh, conversation as being evidence of um, incitement um, and propagandizing on behalf of extremist groups targeted towards individual located in the U.S., compelling them and encouraging them to commit acts of violence in the U.S. against Americans. Before the attack on Sunday, Simpson pledged allegiance to ISIS and wrote, May Allah accept us as Mujahideen. Simpson was the subject of a terrorism investigation in 2006 and was convicted in 2011 of lying to the FBI about wanting to join terrorists in Somalia. He received three years probation. I wonder if he just snapped. Christina Sitton represented him in that case. It never occurred to me that he would actually follow through on it. A law enforcement official says Simpson and Sufi were not considered high priority threats. They are like several thousand individuals U.S. law enforcement is following across all 50 states. Charlie. Thanks, Jeff.